Hiya! Okay, thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be talking about a film uh, which I think most of you have probably already seen because it's something that came out quite recently. Um, but it's massive excitement for this film, everyone's really getting into this one. And I'm so pleased to see that everyone is uh, seemingly reacting so positively to a film that I think took a lot of chances. That film is Logan. Logan is the third film in the sort of trilogy of Wolverine standalone films, starting with Wolverine Origins and then The Wolverine. A lot of mixed reception for those two films. I thought the first film was really, really terrible, actually. Um, it introduced characters that were uh, pretty bad. It had some fun parts to it, but essentially the claws were terrible. Everything about the film was, was, was really quite badly done. And, uh, you know, the famous thing about what it did to Deadpool, I mean, you can't really... Uh, everyone's talked about that, we don't need to talk about it any further. What they did to Deadpool in the movie was a travesty. What really got me excited about Logan was the trailers. Now, with a lot of trailers recently, I've seen the things, you've seen trailers and you think, hopefully this is going to be a good film, but a lot of trailers have kind of misled people as to what you're going to get in the film. Most famously for comic book movies, the last one that really just sticks out in my mind was Fantastic Four, or Fantastic, however you want to pronounce it, uh, where the trailers actually looked like they were pretty good and there was loads of stuff in the trailers that weren't even in the films, and they just gutted it for, for release, and that was a, a really sort of bad one. That's a great example of how trailers uh, can massively oversell what a film's going to be. Now, Logan seemed to have got their trailer and their marketing advertising spot on. Uh, I really enjoyed the first trailer. The second trailer when it came out, I thought that was also awesome. Um, the soundtracks they've been using are really, really good. I mean, some personal favourite songs of mine as well in there. So the film stars uh, Hugh Jackman, again, as Wolverine, in what apparently may be his last performance. I'm not too sure about that, but, you know, maybe it will be. And you have uh, Patrick Stewart playing Professor Xavier, again reprising that role. You also had Stephen Merchant playing Caliban. The film also introduced a young girl by the name of Daphne Keane, who is uh, completely new to the franchise. Um, I'm not aware of her in any of the films previously, um, but she plays a, uh, basically, <laughs> you, uh, she's a girl that needs to get from one place to another place. There you go. And we're relying on someone to, uh, to help her do that. So, what impressed me most about the film is really the way that it delivered on the promise of the trailers. The trailers were really, really good, but the film ticked all the boxes for me. It had, firstly it had the Wolverine we wanted to see. By far and away, this is the Wolverine we've been waiting for. Through all of the X-Men films, through Days of Future Past, through, through everything, he's had tiny little, there's been little flicks, flickers of, uh, of the real Logan that we've wanted to see in these films, but just not enough to, you know, to really get us, uh, get us going in the cinema. This one made up for everything in spades. So everything that you hadn't seen in the previous films, this film just shoveled that on, and... Um, uh, it, it could have gone too far with it, actually. Uh, for me, it didn't. It was it was exactly right. There's an awful lot of gore, an awful lot of blood, a lot of swearing, and I think it was really just saying, okay, the gloves are off. Let's go for this. Let's do whatever we think we need to do, and let's make the film that we think people want to see. And for that, they need to be commended uh, for making a film that was ballsy brassy, went out there, threw everything at you, and basically just gave you massive Wolverine overload. For that, uh, it, it was an outstanding film. And it really, really did a good job. So, I gave the film a 9 out of 10. Uh, I love this film. It's by far and away the best film I've seen this year, uh, in the cinema, at least. Um, it's, it's up there in my top five comic book films of all time. So, you know, it's it's probably displaced Deadpool out of my top five. So it's right up there in my in my top five comic book films of all time. Um, it's better, I would say, than... I'd say I will watch this more times than probably any comic book film I've watched in the last two or three years. So I will go back to this film again and again because it is a perfect palette cleanser of everything that happened to Wolverine previously, everything they did wrong in those previous movies, and it delivers again and again. I've seen it twice now, seen the film twice, it gets better on repeat viewing, 
It's absolutely worth seeing multiple times if you enjoy going to see films multiple times. Definitely get that film on Blu-ray. It's, it's a film to add to your collection at home, one to be proud that you have on the shelf. Um, I've got like an X-Men box set and there are a number of films in there like Last Stand and uh, Wolverine Origins that you, you don't want. You know, you, you're not going to get them out and put them on. Logan is a film that you'll be flicking through your collection and think, yeah, I want to watch that. If you see it come up on Netflix or you know wherever the hell it is, I think you're going to look at that and think, yeah, let's give that a go. Well worth it right now. So, great film. Hope you enjoyed the film yourself. If you haven't seen it, then please do go and see it as soon as you can. I think everyone's kind of going out to see it. It's did really well at the box office, which I think was very well deserved. Uh, if you have seen it, what did you think of it? Let me know your comments down below. Tell me what you thought about the film, if there's anything of interest, uh, anything you liked, anything you didn't like, then by all means let me know. And we can start a conversation about that and see uh, if we've got any different opinions on stuff. Um, but thank you for joining me today. My name is Juliette Noir, and this was my review of Logan. And bye!